Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 8th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew. Thank you for joining us today. Looking at our sun as we're still very quiet. One sunspot that is Earth facing, but not a very active sunspot. Not many plasma filaments. No coronal holes to talk about except for the northern and south region. Small equatorial developing right now that is Earth facing. But this is our sun, the last 48 hours of images. Thank you to Solar Dynamics Observatory. Amazing to see. Looking here at the real time solar data as our wind speeds are steady at about 380 kilometers per second. Sorry. Yeah, 383 kilometers per second. Looking here, the earthquakes last 24 hours. Largest earthquake last 24 hours was 5.1 in Kirapan, Indonesia, six kilometer depth. Saw quite a few earthquakes in this region yesterday as well. Indonesia, volcanoes going off. A lot of alerts recently. Please look forward to the volcanic activity report coming out later today. 4.9 here, Mariana Islands, and a 4.6 as well in Guam. Now this is right underneath Super Typhoon Hagibis, Category 5. 5.0 here in Solomon Islands. Looking across North America, as just recently we had a 3.6. San Francisco Bay Area. Seeing a lot of seismicity recently here. The San Andreas Fault Line up into the subduction zone. 3.9 there off the coast of Bandagon, or Bandon, Oregon. But yeah, definitely stay aware and prepared. It's been a little bit quiet for the magnitude of earthquakes recently there. Across South America here, 4.9 in Chile. And then a 4.9 here south of South America, the Shetan Islands. That's a rare earthquake. 4.6 recorded yesterday, Prince Edward Islands region, south of Africa, as well a 4.8 here south of Western Indian Antarctic Ridge. Now watch for maybe, I mean, we had one in each corner. Maybe we're going to see some seismicity throughout Hawaii. Let's look at the last seven days for earthquakes. Deep earthquakes starting to increase in numbers again. Especially underneath Super Typhoon Hagibis. So definitely stay aware and prepare it, everybody. You know, earthquakes can happen anytime, anywhere, and they can be ever so devastating. Just have a plan. Be ready. For a couple of weeks with no power, no food. You never know when a disaster strikes. That's why Morning Dew is here for you. Let's have a look at Super Typhoon Hagibis right now, Category 5. Very defined eye there and a very large storm. The outflow of moisture is massive. It's about half the size of Australia right now. So this is the largest storm on Earth right now. Super Typhoon Hagibis, Category 5. We also have a couple areas of interest here looking in the Atlantic Ocean. Pretty sizable area of interest as well. So that is Invest Area 92L heading straight west. And now let's head over to the other one, which I was talking about a couple days ago, is the area of interest just east of Florida. Because that is an area of interest as well. We're going to show you here total precipital water. You can see where the form storms are forming. So right there is 
invest area number 92L. And then just west of it, 91L. And then watching an area of interest here on the East Pacific later in the week. But yeah, definitely the, the middle band, the equatorial band of moisture has increased in size. And now these storms are increasing in size and velocity, which is amazing because the, the meaning and the name of Hagibis means velocity and strength. And look at it. It is massive. Thoughts and prayers going out to Japan and, of course, all the people of Mariana Islands that it just affected. Let's hear, have a look here at Windy TY models. Currently 72 knots. So that's category 5 winds, 165 miles per hour and stronger. I heard there were wind gusts yesterday of 210 miles per hour. Let's look at the five day forecast here. And it looks like it will be making landfall Friday evening into Saturday as a category two, possible category three typhoon. And this is a very large storm and it's gonna head straight to Tokyo, Japan like they haven't been affected enough by typhoons this season and floods. Wow, thoughts and prayers to humanity, thoughts and prayers to Tokyo. And now our crazy Atlantic, let's just have a look here at what's happening. Uh, we have our two areas of interest, one forming in the middle of the Atlantic and the other one forming on the coast of the United States. In the coming days, we'll be attacking New York City and the New England states and then quickly ushered out to the Atlantic Ocean again to form this beast of a low pressure system. And look at that. And I, I've never seen anything so big in the Northern Hemisphere. Wow. And if that's a sign of things to come January, February are going to be some very intense winter months. Let's get to the five day forecast here by brought to you by Meteo Earth, Meteo Mike, overlooking North America. Huge high pressure system coming in from Alaska and what's left of the low pressure system that came from Alaska is being pushed all the way down into Colorado. Watch for really cold temperatures into Colorado. Watch this guys, the coming five day forecast. So snow straight through Montana, down into Wyoming, and then watch these temperatures in Colorado, minus 20 degrees Celsius, minus 20 degrees Celsius. My friends and family and my love honeydew in Colorado, time to layer up Wednesday night into Thursday. It's going to be very cold. Watching this area of interest affecting New York and the New England states Thursday into Friday and then this huge low pressure system across Canada is going to be bringing a butt ton of snow to Manitoba, Saskatchewan and Northern Ontario. Europe being affected by many low pressure systems right now as that large low from last week, the Greenland low broke apart. And you can see it broke out into many vortices across Europe. Russia, cold, snowy. Five day forecast here of super typhoon Hagibis. As it shows Friday into Saturday. And then quickly ushered out to the Pacific, North Pacific. But very interesting indeed. Across Australia, watch for southeastern parts to cool down and then watch a area of interest, possible cyclone developing Queensland and heading south along the coastline of Australia. Central America, watching a lot of evaporation, daily evaporation. South America, not really receiving its normal daily evaporation. It's going to start drying up again. 
leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern hemisphere as we are entering winter during our second week of autumn we've got two inches of snow outside here in calgary alberta how much snow do you have on your ground thanks for watching today everybody stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your morning due thanks for watching god bless humanity If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.